and an America's Next Top Model figure, my sister Donna, has always had a love for fitness, going to the beach, going to the beach arts and crafts, and loves to eat. But the thing, the thing I admire about her most is she is the most loving person you'll meet, but completely carefree. I'm talking, you can starve, but she gon' eat. Sit back and chill while you stress and worry about the week. And if she don't do nothing else, that girl gon' sleep. So you can imagine the hole in my heart after getting a call that she was missing. It was two days before Thanksgiving. A lot of us were probably cooking, cleaning, and preparing. And me, me, I was pleading to God that they find my sister. It wasn't the first time it happened. The first time hearing was in middle school. I couldn't quite understand the, the severity of her disappearance. I thought, you know, she's grown. She's an adult. She could come and go as she pleased until a couple days turned into weeks and weeks turned to a couple months. And mm. y'all, for weeks we couldn't sleep. But then I remember hearing that they found her. Rushed to the hospital to go get her. All hospitals were the same to me. They all had doctors and nurses and kept you safe. They wanted you to be healthy and keep you sane. But... This one felt more like a prison. No bars, but gray dark walls with heavy locks on every door. And folks that kind of look like nurses would stand and stare at you at every door. So, y'all, when I got that call two days before Thanksgiving, this time felt different. Yeah, yeah. Because I knew where she'd been before. I began researching and pacing and wondering for adults struggle with mental illness every year and to think, would have found better ways and systems to help through the years that the hurt and pain from the news of suicides of children to adults would encourage us to adhere. But for me, for me, all I could think about was my sister. How she's been in and out of the psychiatric facilities for as long as I can remember and in between two different ones just this year, y'all. I can't bear to hear that they tell me she's bipolar, schizophrenic, or depressed. Y'all, I don't trust the doctors. I don't trust the therapists, I don't trust the nurses or security guards, and I definitely don't trust the medication. The only one I've been able to trust my sister with is God. Pray for her every day. And he touches her mind every day. Last time I saw my sister, she looked so tired. The thing I've always admired about my sister is how great of a fighter she is. And even seeing her fatigue from the fight of so many battles, she took the time to ask me, how are you? She could be so strong, but why couldn't I? But every time I see my sister, she looks less and less like herself. And I just know, I just know the medications don't really help, but y'all, all I can do is pray. I pray every day. Sister Diamond holds in her face two eyes that don't hold as much life anymore. Mm. But still beautiful. A smile that won't stretch as far but can still break any sky. And yes, she's lost a couple pounds. She will always be America's next top mom.